Hey folks, Crazy Climber 80 here again. And this time we're going to look at a game called Mr. Do's Wild Ride. This was created in 1984 by Universal, and this is the third game in the Mr. Do franchise series. And uh, this is definitely one of the lesser entries. Um, in fact, this is probably my least favorite entry. Um, this follows... Mr. Do, the original in 1982, and Mr. Do's Castle in 1983. And after this was Do Run Run in 1984, later on. But uh, I'm not a, a fan of this game. Uh, when a franchise, an entry in a franchise, completely changes the gameplay, I mean completely changes the gameplay, it better be pretty darn good. And it... it usually doesn't seem to work out when when uh, that happens and it certainly doesn't work out here I mean as a standalone game if it weren't the Mr. Do franchise it'd be playable it'd be alright but I can't really forgive them for completely screwing up the Mr. Do uh, mythos but your goal is on a fixed screen to reach the very top right of the roller coaster or amusement park ride that you play on and there are like uh, I think six or seven different levels and then they just repeat maybe with little added challenges but what you try to avoid is these roller coasters that can hit Mr. Do and this is more of a strategy game than anything the, the usual Mr. Do games were were mazes or they took place on multiple floors or uh, there was a 3D landscape. This is totally different and uh, the cherries are back, the monsters and the letter monsters are gone and I really miss them. <laughs> Your main uh, enemy is the roller coaster and like I said it's a strategy game. You have to climb ladders to avoid getting nailed by those uh, uh, roller coasters. And there are also like pendulums and things like that. And then on this second scene there's a pirate ship at the top. But um, you climb the ladders to avoid getting hit by the roller coasters and you have to watch your head and your feet. You have to watch below you and above you. You can hit your head on the coasters on the track above you if you stick your head up on that track when climbing that ladder. As you collect the cherries on the ladders, you will change the prize that you collect at the very end, at the goal. One thing you really have to learn is patience. Do not be in a hurry to beat the level. You have a speed button and if you hold it down you can run real fast like that and you will need to use it to get out of the way of that pirate ship. Um, it will take down the bonus points you get at the end of a level and they're ticking down. If you run out of bonus points you die. And now here on this level you have this little uh, these little uh, elevators but yeah remember you can hit your head and your body the rest of your body on the uh, coasters but yeah learn patience do not try to forge ahead when the opportunity is not there Just kind of scan your eyes to see which direction these uh, these uh, coasters are going to go. Sometimes there will be prizes that are just points at the goal, and sometimes there will be letters. You spell out the word extra with those letters, and you will win yourself an extra life. And now we have these, uh, these rising balls and that uh, platform going up and down and notice that that platform will take you right into the path of the roller coaster if you're not careful but yeah this game it 
It's got some intriguing strategy elements. But uh, as a Mr. Do game, it's... I, I can't forgive them for completely screwing with the uh, tried and true successful formula of the other Mr. Do games. But yeah, scan your eyes to see that... Uh, ah, God damn it! Scan your eyes to see the... Uh, uh, where the roller coasters are going on the track that they're on and see if it's gonna uh, hit you where you're at anytime soon. Like I said, do not be in a hurry to get to that goal. Take your time. Only go when the time is right. And watch to see where the coasters are going and if they're going to hit you. See, I can't take that uh, platform yet until I know that the coast is clear. Then you go. There is the hidden uh, free credit diamond that shows up on a number of Mr. Do games. I have uh, was it EX and T out of the word extra, so I just need R and A. On this setting, on this arcade setting, on easy, um, it's, I mean, it's set to easy to get the, uh, the extra life. The game will, uh, will choose the letters, con uh, consistently try to choose the letters remaining for you as you collect the cherries. Sometimes it'll get the wrong ones, but, ah, shit. But usually it'll it'll at least try to get you the right letters remaining to spell uh, extra. Now we have these horses bopping up and down. Touch them at all and you're dead. Um, once they go uh, like uh, right to left or left to right all the way then they will turn around and jump up or drop down one level. Oh shit! I, I lost track of uh, where the coasters were going. I hit my head. Dang it. Well, that's my game. It's Mr. Do's Wild Ride. I saw this once at a at an Oregon Coast arcade. They had some uh, weird games there, like Jack Rabbit and Borderline, among other ones. I was not impressed. I, like I said, if it weren't a Mr. Do game, it wouldn't be so bad, but they totally fucked with the formula. Now let's look at me getting the uh, extra life. Congratulations, you win extra Mr. Do. And we'll also look at me getting the free credit diamond. It, we're gonna have a quick look at... Oh, I activated it. I do not know how I did it. It's. It, I believe it's totally random. I put on invincibility here. But this is the sixth level. And... Uh, this has a bunch of rotating uh, platforms. The touchiness of this, of uh, stepping onto the platforms without falling is really unfair at times on this upper part. We'll scoot forward to me collecting the extra credit diamond. Congratulations, you win special one more game. and then they just add little things to the later levels, like these swinging pendulums. Yes. Otherwise, they just repeat the levels. And then they add these little falling things to a uh, later level that repeats. Well, that was Mr. Do's Wild Ride by Universal in 1984, the third game in the Mr. Do series, and pretty inferior to the others, in my opinion. Well, that was uh, Mr. Do's Wild Ride by Universal in 1984. Uh, Crazy Climber 80 saying thanks for watching, and I'll catch you later with another video. Bye, folks.